What's up, y'all? Um, today I'm going to be taking you through Bohr diagram. What is it? And we're going to do a couple of examples. Okay. So Bohr diagram is a diagram that was created by a scientist last name Bohr, and it was a way to visually represent uh, the subatomic particles and where they might be in an atom. And how can you visually show that? So Bohr diagram is the way to do that. And you guys are going to get some practice pretty soon on doing Bohr diagrams. Anyway, so without any further delay, let's get this party started. So first, let's look at boron. I've got my handy dandy periodic table here. I'm going to look at boron and I'm going to find out that it is in uh, group three, row two. So the first thing we need to do is get some information. So we need to go ahead and ape man this um, <clears throat> this element. So its atomic number is five. So I know the ape is five. It has five protons, five electrons. The mass of boron is 10.8, but we round up to 11 minus the number five from the atomic number gives us six neutrons. So now we can start filling our information out. I've got five protons, six neutrons, and five electrons. So using the rule of 288, we go one, two in the first orbital, and our other three in the outer orbital. And our Bohr diagram for boron is done. Nice and easy, right? Let's move on. Oxygen. Got to eight man this one. Oxygen is number eight on the periodic table. There we go. And the mass of oxygen is 15.9, so it's 16 minus 8 equals 8. So I've got 8 protons, 8 neutrons. Now I need to put 8 electrons. 1, <coughs> 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. It doesn't really matter where you draw them. I like to balance it out for aesthetics, but you don't need that. Anyway, now moving on to chlorine. Chlorine is number 17 on the periodic table, so our ape is 17. Our mass for chlorine is uh, 35. 35 minus 17 equals 18, if I remember my elementary school math. So now, let's fill this information out. I've got 17 protons, 18 neutrons, and now I have to draw um, I have to draw 18 or 17 electrons. So here's what I know. I already know that there's 10 in the first two, right? So we got one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I just need to do seven more in the valence shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Bohr, that's the Bohr diagram for chlorine, for oxygen and boron. Hope that helped guys. See you next time.